<laughs> In the trenches, they waved a white flag. I think I'm not that big on World War One. Oh, don't look at me. I'm not a historian. But I am waving a bag of pastries. Pano chocolate, to be precise. Am I in the doghouse? What? Oh, I am so sorry, Sarah. Do you forgive me? Honestly, don't worry, it's fine. Oh, she's anybody for a bag of pastries, she said. Now, will you stop gabbing and get on with these invoices, please? Oh, I just feel so awful. I mean, I held Adam up and it was your special night. I did say I was absolutely fine, but he insisted on staying with me. Quite the night in shining armour, really. Well, then, I've trained him well. I thought you'd be sticking pins and effigies of me. Oh, no, I'm just glad you weren't on your own. So, how are you feeling about Daniel now? Mm, don't. No, I refuse to waste any more energy on him. He just sucks the life out of everything. You know, you need an oxygen mask when you're speaking to him because he just drains it from the air. Oh, men. Always let you down. Well, then you should go on a date with Giddy Gale, then. Now, is anybody thinking of getting some work done today? Oh, right, Colour, you the first time. Daniel actually admitted to kissing Daisy behind my back. What else were they up to? That's what I want to know. Mm. No, honestly, definitely. You need to move on then. Exactly. Daniel who? Right, come on. Let's crack open these calories. Uh, uh. I can't believe my daughter's about